to tie the second one in a series on the uh, Adirondack flies that I found as I researched my latest book on the greats of Adirondack fly fishing. And this is another fly by Ed Bendel of Northville. And Ed was known for tandem streamer patterns. He had walls full of them as you went in the shop because he fished a lot of the lakes around the Adirondacks for big browns and landlocked salmon, lake trout. So he fished for a bunch of different species in the lakes, especially towards the end of his life. And he had all kinds of these tandem streamer patterns and they all came in their own little envelope and they were all signed by Ed and it was really neat going to the shop and seeing all that. So the fly we're going to tie today is called Ed Special, and it's a bucktail pattern, and here's how you tie it. Ed always used the salmon fly hook for the trailer hook, and it was two sizes smaller than the front hook, usually a size 8 in the back and a size 4 in the front. This is a little bit different modern version of a salmon fly hook and it's got a wide gap but any of the old black salmon hooks that are around will work and we just run the thread to the back I'm going to use silver braided tinsel for the body and we'll put that on Just tie it in. I'm going to leave the tag end so that it goes just behind the head. And we'll get that all bound down nice so that when I bring the tinsel forward there isn't any, aren't any lumps or bulges. So I usually go up and down it again. And we're going to do that right there. Wrap it nice tight body with the braided tinsel and tie that off and we'll trim that okay Everything bound down to start the head a little bit. And he always used monofilament to join the two flies together. Usually about 12 or maybe 15 pound test. I'm just going to use some 15 pound test fluorocarbon. And the way you do this is you put this on like that, put the two pieces in between together and thread them through the eye of the hook, pull the whole thing forward, and pull it tight, kind of keep it straight and then just bind everything down and make a head nice tapered head for this it's going to take quite a few wraps and the mono can tangle up but that's no big deal and we're going to do a whip finish Pull the mono through on each wrap. Pull it tight and we're just going to trim it and glue it. Okay, 
that's the back fly. Front fly is the longer streamer hook. Get that in. Start our thread. And run it down to the back of the hook. Trim that off. So the rear hook is going to ride point up like that. The mono goes flat on the back of the hook. The two pieces of mono parallel. Let's get those started. Then bring the mono through the eye of the front hook. And we're going to bind all that down. I'm going to trim it so it's out of the way. I don't need that much. Okay. So this goes all the way down to the front. We're going to bring this piece up and get it as tight as we can and start bringing that back underneath. It seems like that could be kind of fragile, but in all the times that I've used these flies and caught a fish on the back hook, I've never had it come apart. Okay, this one's just got a simple body, so we're just going to bring the silver tinsel forward so it's just behind where the head of the fly will be. And go back down that nice and tight. forward nice and tight, get everything down. Okay, so for this one, all that we have is the tinsel body, so we'll make a nice tight wrapped body out of the braided tinsel. Tie that off. And trim it. Okay. So this one is pretty simple. Kind of weave some red bucktail back through here. I'm going to use the pinch method to get that on the bottom. And we'll neaten that up and trim that off. down. Come over the top with white bucktail. Trim that off. 
and that. That bomb down tight. Another layer of red. curl oh, six strands of that some crystal flash So the last thing that we're going to add to this, a lot of his flies he had like a cheek and this one he used a couple of grizzly hackles and he had those right along the side. So we'll put one on each side. That one. Both in place, trim them off. And I'll just bind all that down, and make a head. In our whip finish. And we'll put on the Good layer of head cement. And that's it. The fly is done. That's an Ed special. And it's one of the great flies of the Adirondacks. And I'd like to ask you all a favor. If you could please subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps at the end. Thank you. Mm -hmm.